Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to learn the basic of chemistry and we'll start with the periodic table. The periodic table can be found on the back of your school's agenda or you can go to Google and search periodic table. What is the periodic table? It is the language of chemistry, just like the 26 letters of the alphabets that makes up the English language. First, you have to study the letters, then you put the letters together to make words. You can put words to make sentences. And then when you have a bunch of sentences, you get a paragraph and eventually an essay. So in chemistry, the periodic table is like that. You have the very basic, which are called elements, which can be put together to create compounds. And then from then on, you can create formulas and just like the English language. In the periodic table, there are a bunch of these blocks and inside each block is an element. There are many different kinds of elements. Elements go together to form other things, but first we have to learn about these elements. We will start with the element, name, and symbols. Now before we start, you can get a copy of this worksheet from the link in the description below. Print the worksheet and follow along. For every assignment, make sure to put your name, today's date, and your period at the top. Here we are given a bunch of elements name and we need to find their symbols. An element symbol can stand for one atom of the element or one mole of atoms of the element. Write the symbols for the following elements. Number one we have is oxygen. Okay, let's go to our periodic table. Oxygen is located on the right side and the symbol for oxygen is the letter O. So we'll put O. Number two, we have hydrogen. And on the periodic table, hydrogen has the symbol H. When writing symbols, remember to always capitalize the first letter. Next is chlorine, and it's also on the right side. The symbol for chlorine is CL. Notice some elements have only one letter, and some elements have two letters. The first letter is always capitalized and the second is always lowercase. Number four we have mercury and on the periodic table the symbol for mercury is HG. Note most symbols look exactly like their names just like oxygen symbol is O and hydrogen symbol is H but mercury is HG. That's because some elements some elements take after their Latin name. But in the end, it is best to just memorize the symbol. Don't worry, it will come to you naturally when we keep doing more chemistry work. All right, now it's your turn to try. Work on number five and six. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock. If you need more time, just pause this video and when you're done, play it again to check your answers. Okay, so how did you do? Number five fluorine symbol is F. It is located on the right side of the periodic table. Number six barium symbol is BA. Now it's time for you to finish the rest. Work on number seven and 20. And when you're ready, we will start on 21. All right, time for the second half. This time the worksheet asks you to find the name given the element symbol. 21 is KR and that's on the right hand side of the periodic table. KR is the symbol for the element Krypton. Sounds like Superman weakness, which is kryptonite. Next we have K. 
And if we look to the left side of the periodic table, it is potassium. Oh, it is one of those elements where the name and symbol are different from each other. Number 23. C, that is carbon. Number 24NE is neon. For those who are wondering why do we have element name and symbols, the name is for us to identify the element. So when one person is talking to another person about chemistry, we say things like we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide instead of saying we breathe in O. Look, this thermometer is full of HG. The balloon is filled with H. Yeah, so we have element names, so it's easier for us to communicate when we talk to other people about chemistry. But when we are writing, instead of writing out the word oxygen 10 times, it's much faster to just write the letter O 10 times. And that's why we have element symbols to save time when we write chemical formulas. Now it's your turn to finish the rest of the worksheet.